Hey guys, Happy Splasher here. Good afternoon. So right now we're going to continue with the world event. So yeah, let's keep going. Currently right now we are on chapter two. First of all, let's check out the history. As you'll see here, here is the boss for chapter two, the Druid Rem Remulus, which means that the Aravada will be the boss for chapter three. Here are the rewards for that. And now we will head into the roadmap and then we'll start this off. So we have a first quest here to defeat Chang Tong. We'll hit the go. And this brings us to a battle. And they do have a skill, so whenever an ally dies, it will give a health boost to allies. Ragged Ear scampered away to a hole under an oak tree. Well, I'm sure that's where I'll find the answers to my questions. I wouldn't recommend it. Seriously, not every hole should have a nose in it. That goes for you too, Lord Protector. That just sounds... eerie. Thanks for the advice, but I surely won't take it. Be nice and let me pass. No? I thought so. All right. May the gods of the higher world witness that I offered a peaceful way. Okay, let's take a look at some of the buildings. And we'll attack on the open lane D here. Why don't you listen, Lord Protector? Listen to good advice. You're wasting your time in this hole. But who am I to talk you out of it? Indeed. You don't want to get hit in the trunk a second time, do you? That's right. I imagine that would hurt a lot. <laughs> okay, so that was Chang Tong. We'll head over to the roadmap and continue. Okay, we have our next quest here. Activate Epic Obelisk in Place of Power three times. We'll hit the go. And this brings us over to the Place of Power. As you can see, we have leveled up our obelisk. And we'll activate the epic one three times. So we'll go over here and skip the animation as well. Three times as well. Epic. We did get some bonus runes, which is very nice. And more importantly, we did finish the quest. All right, so we'll head back to the roadmap now and continue. Okay, we have our next set of quests here. Up top is open 10 chests for victories over other players. Behind that, we have find 900 souls of epic heroes. On the bottom, we have performed demigods, gods of war, or miracle summons two times. We'll start with this quest up top. This one has opened 10 chests for victories over other players. We'll hit the go. And this brings us over to the league. We will need to open up a couple of these chests. We have some over here, as well as some over here as well. These legendary chests we will save for later quests. So for now, we'll just open up these. As you see, they do count. We are a little short, as we only have the four spaces. So even with three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then one over here for nine. So we will, we will need to actually get some more victory chests over here. And so we'll do that offline and we will see you guys later. All right, guys, we are back. Currently we're on this quest, open 10 chests for victories over other players. We have done this offline. And so we will now continue. Okay, we have our next quest here, find 900 souls of epic heroes. We'll hit the go. And this brings us over to the summon hall. We'll actually close out of this. And then we'll head over to the Mighty Pass. I do remember that we did have some epic chests over here. We do have one over here. We can also, let's see if there's some in the event pass. And we're not quite there yet. I do know that also as well, we have the Divine Arena. And so if we do complete any one of these, we'll be able to get enough souls. So let's just try and finish one up now. <laughs> And, ooh, got a little bit of damage pentagrams going on over here. All right, so we'll start with the hero over here on D3 with high health. And then we'll just start establishing... I'm not too concerned about the Danny Croc, even though he does have high health because of the health steal. Okay, we're going to use our first hero skill here, which is going to be the spikes. And then we'll use our second one here to silence both of these heroes. And then we'll keep summoning heroes down here on D and D. Because we have spikes, we're going to be able to here. We're going to attack on these open lanes. Whoa! You can see also the damage pedigrams. Okay, we'll summon this hero here on C1. Okay, this Morgan the Sea Tusk has some attack steal and also will lower the attack of our heroes. 
I'm gonna send this hero over here on B1 just to block. Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, let's see. We have this Aqua Spear here for using two of our ranged heroes. We're gonna give an attack boost over to our nature heroes. Right, let's see, will that be enough? This is 28, this is 40, this is 46. This should... Oh, actually, no, I forgot. We still have this hero over here. Mm, yeah, we'll try it anyways. Ah, so yeah, we are a little short. Yeah. Now, we'll have yeah. to do this Ah, that Morgan C does. Okay. Well, we'll hop right back into the Divine of the here and try for the next Just Just we'll start with this uh -huh. over here on A1 with some protection behind these buildings. Also uh -huh. We can deal some reflect damage. We can some spikes. We can also go with this hero here on... <laughs> this hero here on A2 because we still have our spike skill. Yeah. And I'm gonna go with their silence to stop those. Go with this hero here. On Whoa! Two. Yeah. Okay, those are going to be destroyed, so I'm not too concerned over here. We're just gonna go for as much damage as possible over to you. <laughs> Even though we are one on one health. Okay, we're gonna go block next. Because again, we are running low on health. We're gonna place this hero over here on the uh, two. That way we can then place another melee hero over here if we have to. In this case we will, so again, placing this here on the three. Blocking the lane. And once again, we got Morgan the Sea Tusk. We're going to go with our attack boost to nature heroes, and then we'll also play this wise owl here on the two. And there we go. All right, so we did get the chest. We got the epic soul, and as you see, it does count for our quest, so we're good there. We're going to head back to the roadmap, and then we're going to do this other quest down here. This one is performed demigods, gods of war, or miracle summons two times. We'll hit the go. And this brings us over to the summon hall again. We'll do two demigod summons in order to get this complete. And the reason why it's the demigod summons is because the other summons will cost too many gems or scrolls. So that's number one. We'll do number two over here. As you can see, it is complete. And maybe we'll Legendary. get some good heroes. Okay, we got some pretty much free legendary, so that's that's good. Alright, we'll head back to the roadmap. And continue. Okay, we have our next quest here. Defeat Druid Getafix. We'll hit it the go. And this brings us to a battle. And they do have a skill. So every second turn, we'll summon a mad totem onto an ally melee cell. In the name of nature, who are you? And how dare you break our sacred right? You scared the bunnies away. Their hearts are weak. They'll be fine. What were those shards you joined into one egg during the ritual? They're of the rebirth egg, aren't they? It's none of your business. Get out or I will bring down on you the wrath of nature itself. Dangerous. Yeah! Okay, let's take a look at the buildings. And we have this Lady of the Warriors here, which gets an attack boost for every nature ally. We'll attack on the open Whoa! lane. Lord Protector, I did not recognize you at first. I repent. Why do you waste your time chasing bunnies and following pious druids? I don't believe in anyone's piety. When it comes to powerful artifacts, even wise ones lose their heads and conscience. Consider the bad guys first. Demons, necromancers, that's who might be hiding shards from the druids, not the druids themselves. <coughs> but you guys delve in nature, so maybe you do. <laughs> Alright, so that was Druid Getafix. We'll head back to the roadmap and continue. Okay, looks like we have a quest already complete. Let's check these out. So up top, we have Soulbind any of the event rares five times. Behind that, we have Boost Legendary Heroes four times. On the bottom, we have Find 1400 Souls of the Event Epics. 
we'll start with this quest up top this one is soul bind any of the event rares five times we have these heroes from before so that is why this one is complete so we will now continue okay we have our next quest over here boost legendary heroes four times we'll hit the go and this brings us over to the squad what i'll do is close out of the squad close out of the roadmap we'll head over to the guild and then we'll activate this bonus over here on the far right this one here this masterful enchantment will lower the cost of boost and we'll do that for one day because we won't need to do it any further we'll head back now to the squad and then boost any of four legendary heroes so we want to boost legendary heroes that are lower level because as you see here level 14 versus level 16 here so we'll boost actually this one number one two I need a lower level legendary here. So that's number three. And we have one more. Yes, we do. That's number four. Okay, we are now complete with that quest. We'll head back to the roadmap and do the other quest. This one is find 1400 souls of the event epics. We'll hit the go. And this brings us over to the summon hall. What I'll actually do once again is close out. We'll head back to the guild. We'll activate another bonus. This one here is self-perfection, which will lower the cost of evolve. We'll also do that for one day. Head back to our squad. And then we will do some evolve in order to get those souls. So in this case, we'll filter for the rares, the nature ones. And in this case, let us do also melee two, from what I remember. Let's actually filter out for some druids. So we'll do some evolve. And as you can see, it does count for this quest. We are now complete. Also going to push up one thing here. Get some more of these. Okay. We are now complete with both quests. We'll head back to the roadmap and continue. Okay. We have our next quest here. Defeat Weasel Roger. We'll hit the go. And this brings us to a battle. And they do have a skill. So whenever a melee ally dies, it will deal damage to the enemy who killed it. I still don't believe that druid. Hey, big ears, stop. Did your friend Tommy stash the shards? Or maybe you stashed them? I don't know anything, haven't seen anything, and I've got to go anyway. My wife's waiting, and 16 kids are hungry. I don't believe a word of it. Well, maybe except for the number of kids. You may have even underestimated that one. Are you calling him a bad father? Okay, let's take a look at the buildings. And we'll attack on the open lane. Let me go, oh great warrior. I will learn to play the loot and compose a ballad about your generosity. I don't want to be blamed for yet another troubadour. I have nothing to say. I'm an ordinary bunny looking for shards like the others. The Archdruid Order gave us this assignment. <coughs> That's busy bunny. Okay, so that was Weasel Roger. We'll head back to the roadmap. And continue okay we have our next set of quests here up top is spend 1700 copper coins behind that we have soul bind any of the event epics five times on the bottom we have spend 7500 runes we're going to hold off spending on the runes because we do need them for chapter three as usual so in this case we'll go back up top and we'll do this quest spend 1700 copper coins we'll hit the go and this brings us over to the black market we will need to spend some copper coins so let's start with looking around see what we're going to use and yeah we can do this late late hanako lady banshee so we'll do her for a thousand you can see it does count for spending so we'll do a little bit more we'll get some arachne and we'll get some fruit and because this hero is useful too we'll also get her okay so as you can see we are now complete we'll head back to the roadmap and continue Okay, we have this quest already completed. This one is Soulbind any of the event epics five times. Again, similar to the other Soulbind quest, we do have these heroes from before, so that is why this one is complete. So we will now continue. Okay, we have our next quest here, Defeat Lin Wang. We'll hit the go. And this brings us to a battle. And they do have a skill, so whenever an ally dies, we'll give a health boost to allies. You gave my colleague a good beating. 
he had to leave his post early. Was a visit to the hole worth it? I guess no. You elephants have become insolent. Is this the influence of the old Aravada? Or has the nature gone mad because of the shards? We will find out soon. Aha! Okay, let's take a look at the buildings. And we have this woodland hermit with an attack boost off to silence and a health boost to or heal for melee allies. We will summon on the open lane hey, hey. A. And then the Aphrodite has some extra damage at the end of the turn. Don't touch Aravada. He is a holy elephant. He protects us all from the insane plans of the Arch Archie Druid Order. It changes. Why are their plans insane? There's something you're not telling me. It's getting more and more strange. Once they find the shards, they'll they will finish what you, Lord Protector, failed to do in your time. That is very ominous. Okay, that was Lin Wang. We'll head back to the roadmap. And continue. Oop, oop, here we go. <laughs> Alright, we have our next set of quests here. Up top is collect resources in gold mine three times. Behind that, we have reborn any of the event epics five times. On the bottom, we have spend 500 gems. We'll start with this quest up top. This one is collect resources in gold mine three times. We'll hit the go. And this brings us over to the gold mine. We will need to do a couple of these attempts, and they happen every 12 hours or so, unless there are other ones done in the morning. So in this case, we'll have to do these offline, and so we will see you guys later. All right, guys, we are back. Currently, we're on this quest to collect resources in gold mine three times. We have done this offline, and so we will now continue. Okay, we have another quest already completed. This one here is reborn any of the event epics five times. We have done that already. So let's hop on to the other quest. This one down here is spend 500 gems. We'll hit the go. And this brings us over to the summon hall. What I'll actually do is close out of this and then head over to the legendary draft. We're going to spend some gems, but we're not going to do the draft. As you can see, we are complete. And so we'll head back to the roadmap and continue. Okay, we have our next quest here. Get two legendary heroes in summon orange chest. We'll hit the go. And this brings us over to League. We will need to open up a couple of these legendary chests that we have that we have been saving. So we'll open up these two here. Uh, one for League legendary. 3. Not bad. Okay. And we'll open up the one for League 2 as we just need to open any two legendary chests here. Alright, we are now complete. We'll head back to the roadmap and continue. Okay, we're on the final quest of Chapter 2 here. This is Defeat Druid Remulus. We'll hit the go. And this brings us to a battle. And they have two skills. So at the end of the second turns, we will summon a Mad Totem onto an ally melee cell. And then at the start of the turn, we'll give an attack boost to allies for each nature ally. Ah, Lord Protector. Still wandering around in the woods. I take it you haven't made any progress in your investigation? I'm not your errand bunny, and I don't intend to report to you. An unfavorable comparison. The bunnies are preparing a raid on the suspect who might have shards. And what have you accomplished? I am a spider. Whoa! Okay, let's take a look at the buildings. And we have this shark here that has a little bit of block and setting the attack of one of our heroes to one for a turn. We're going to summon on the open lane D here. Whoa! And our Charn, the Soul Catcher, has created some extra attack yeah. boosts. This Lady of the Warrior here will get an attack boost for each nature ally. We're going to summon on hey, hey. the to attack. Oh. Yeah, I don't like your attitude, respected druids. You take too much on yourselves. We can afford it. A new conjunction day is coming. We will rebuild the rebirth egg, and the plains of Pangea will connect again. What? Is this a stupid joke? Conjunctions of the plains threaten to cause more destruction. This cannot happen. So much destruction. Okay, so that was Druid Remulus. We'll head back to the roadmap. Oh, and continue. And here's the end card for Chapter 2. The Cernan Archdruid. Now, the Archdruid Order was founded during the First War, which, when Pangeo was a single continent. The Rapture was a personal tragedy for every Druid. Their homeland was torn apart, and no one could stop the process. Cernan vowed that he would find a way to heal Pangea's wounds. He strives to protect the nature artifacts the Orders has, and to seek out those that have been lost. They cannot fall to evil forces. 
It's critical not to let Pangea be torn apart again. Okay, so we'll grab our rewards. And we'll head to chapter three. So chapter three, shaky balance. The Lord Protector discovers that the Archdruid Order intends to reunite the shards of the Rebirth Egg and use it to join the planes of Pangea into a single continent. However, such strong magical interference threatens only destruction. The Lord Protector must take the shards from the Order and find the lost ones. He knows someone who may have them. It remains to be seen if this someone wants to reunite the Rebirth Egg or pursue very different goals. Okay, so here are the rewards for Chapter 3. We'll be able to get 1k copies of the Aravada Heaven Fury. Some Miracle Scrolls, a medal, and then also the Yadrid Portrait. So we'll head into the adventure. And at this point, we will stop and we will continue on later for Chapter 3. Uh, so yeah, we'll see you guys later. This is Happy Splasher. Signing off.